Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get simplified model from Reality Capture for free. I want to warn you that this process is completely manual. So what you have to do, you get your a very detailed model. You specify uh, vertices for your simplified model. So I place it, uh, control points this way. Uh, in a 3D model, not on feature, like this. Uh, and then you get positions of all those uh, control points. So I'm going to be showing you how we can do this. So for example, I want to continue with this uh, roof part, so I place it here. See, at least two points needed to get position. And then I get, let's say here, and so I want to, in my model here, as you can see, it's already in progress, I want to extrude this edge, like this, and I'm gonna get uh, this vertex, and I'm going to specify it's location. See this crazy number? What I'm doing, I'm going to uh, it's a pie scale by moving comma into here. And then I need to get position of. Oh, it's a wrong thought. The wrong. Control point, and you get a point uh, 11. So I copy it and I place it right here. And I move comma. I want to have three digits in comma. And as you can see, this process is completely manual. I'm just doing this like copy paste. And sometimes, uh, because you need to uh, click, double click quite often, you may get nervous that something may not be working from the very first time. Just like I'm doing this right now, as you can see, so point 12, click, I'm just double clicking. Uh, by moving this comma, I specify the scale. Very important to the scale. I wish there was an option to, uh, to copy all x, y, y, z and place them. But since this process is a dirty uh, workaround of live hack, so there is nothing like that. So as you can see, this is how we do this. We get now, uh, this way, we get now this part of the roof here. Uh, what we can do now, we can add even more points. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's uh, extrude now um, this edge. Here is like this. Um, bevel, bevel, so we will uh, add point, oh, this, you know the point should be actually here, but, okay, it's uh, for tutorial sake, so we need to uh, add point, let's say here, 30, as you can see, we add this, can we copy, just, Right away, uh, we get this edge. Ah, ah, uh, what we are going to do now? We are, we are going to only manipulate this work. 
So that one we are going to just uh, connect. Although I'm not sure how to do this, like to uh, to connect one without moving. So instead, I'm, I will just I will just I will just open. Oh, I will just open the page. You know, not to make some. Now, as far as I remember, you have to click here. Okay, well, select it, right? Now it's... Okay. So, this is how you do this. You can see this is uh, uh, this part of rules, except this bevel. So, now what we also can do, we, we can simulate this bevel like this. Point fourteen. Uh, point fourteen. Uh, and point fifteen will be will be will be will be will be. Okay, since uh this one is very long, I want it to be. Right here. This is like the extreme, you know. It's like super extreme. But I'm not sure what it's going to be. Oops, 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 oops. Once again, we only manipulate this way. Uh, it's just like 15, right? 15. Um, here we go. Oh, I'm getting just a little bit confused right now. Surprisingly right now. Not in the beginning. But right now. Am I correct? If you follow the mathematics blindly, it should be all correct in the very end. And it is. Okay. Uh, don't look at this crazy shape. Uh, so, uh, right now we are going to copy and paste this. Once again, I know that you, you can... Uh, you can like select this one and attach it to this one, but I don't I don't actually remember how to do this. So instead I will just do it the old way. So connect uh, well. So here we go. That's that's it. Uh and uh, the very last one uh, is like, look, since uh, this uh, surface is, I believe, flat, what we can do, we can specify here uh, the, um, the height by just, by just doing 
like this. Uh, so what we need, we need only uh, height, and height is, uh, uh, no, we need all points, we need all points. Ah. Yeah. Since it's it's, it, it's rotated according to reality capture uh pivot. It's rotated. So right. Let it be finished <laughs> right now. So where is it? Point sixteen. Okay. And this one is this point sixteen. Uh X. Oh, wait a minute, so, ah, I wanted to make this bevel, but I forgot, I forgot about the bevel. Oh, something I got right here, so anyway. Uh, that's how it's working. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good time and bye 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 bye. Have a good time. See you later in the next video about something very interesting or maybe not very interesting. I hope it's important. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, this is how you can uh, export for free. Uh, I mean, not export, recreate for free. A non textured simplified model of your reality capture uh, snapshot model, whatever. So, this is what I did. I just made it uh, from control points and then I copied and pasted um, in positions and I scale it uh, them down. Uh, those positions and two go. So, I scale them down in one, two, three. Or, or it's uh, 10 uh, of a thousands and so 10 thousands of times time. yeah thanks for watching have a good time bye 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 have a good time see you later in the next video about something very interesting or maybe not very interesting bye bye